You may have heard of the WHOOP, and you've heard that it can benefit your health and fitness. Well, stick around to find out. Hi, this is Glenn with Freedom for Life Fitness, and we're gonna talk about the WHOOP. The WHOOP is a health and fitness feedback device that gives you information about a variety of things. For example, it talks about your sleep, your REM sleep, your deep sleep, and your overall sleep. I was impressed at how it knew when I was in a deep sleep and REM, and I believe that it does an accurate job in measuring your sleep. It also does what are called recovery zones. So for example, if you're in the red, that means, whoa, you might wanna take the day off from intense exercise. If you're in the yellow zone, it's like proceed with caution. It says your body isn't totally worn down, but yet it's also not fully recovered. So you might be able to work out, but you would have a lighter one. And then there's the green zone and that's go for it. So you're fully recovered and your body is ready for a tough workout. The way it measures and knows if you're ready for a tough workout is by a variety of things. One is called heart rate variability or HRV. And we believe that knowing your heart rate variability can tell you if your body is in a rested state and ready for more activity or stress. It also measures your sleep. So for example, if you had a great night's sleep, it calculates that into the equation as well. It also calculates your strain levels from previous workouts, the day before, the day before that, and maybe even the week before that. So it's kind of a running tally of how much work you've been doing and whether your body is ready for a tough workout. So it looks at those things and then gives you an educated guess if it's ready for you or if you're ready to go full tilt, kind of moderate, or to take a day off. Also, what it does is it doesn't just say your green is good, yellow is kind of proceed with caution, and red is stop. It gives you recommendations that are called strain, and strain is a variety of things of which we've just talked about, and it'll say for you today, your strain score should be X. So it gives you something to shoot for. So again, if you're well rested, it's gonna give you a higher strain score. And if you're not, it's gonna give you a lower strain score. And strain is based on mainly two things, the intensity of your workout and the duration of your workout. So you get a higher strain score by going longer and or harder. So again, it gives you recommendations called strain and it tells you how much you should work out and how hard you should work out. In regards to sleep, it looks at, which we briefly mentioned earlier, is REM sleep. We know REM sleep is important. It also looks at deep sleep and also looks at the total amount of sleep. I was a little skeptical at first, so the first couple of nights I tested and I said, hmm, how does it know that? Because a lot of times I'm actually in bed, I'm lying, I'm not moving, but I'm not asleep. It might take me 20, 30 minutes before I actually fall asleep. And sure enough, the next day I would look at my sleep performance and it would say, let's say I was going to bed at 9 p.m. It would say no activity or very little activity at that time but it didn't measure my sleep. And I said, there's something to this thing because I know I was awake. Also, occasionally I'll wake up in the middle of the night and the same thing, it said, while I was laying down, I wasn't asleep. And sure enough, it knew the times that I wasn't asleep. So I was pleasantly surprised how it does accurately tell when you're asleep, when you're in REM sleep, and when you're in deep sleep. Another thing the WHOOP does is it gives you a journal. And that journal can be very extensive. So it can be things like, did I eat my greens? Did I eat my vegetables? Did I eat my fruits? Did I take magnesium, zinc, and a variety of different things? Besides supplements and food, did I do my daily journal? Did I have quiet time or meditation? Did I feel stressed? Do I feel recovered? Do I feel happy? 
all these different things, it has a running total that's calculating your workload going forward. So it also holds you accountable if you answer those questions every day. So it is a little bit of an accountability partner because each day it recommends that you fill out a journal. It only takes a couple of minutes. And a lot of times what I did is I saved my entries from the next day so I didn't have to answer each question one at a time. But those questions are helpful or were helpful for me and knowing what I'm doing daily. Okay, so the big question you're probably asking, is it good for me? While I do think the Whoop has many positive attributes, I don't think it's for everybody. Let's start with who it might be best suited for. If you are an avid exerciser or you compete in athletics, I think it can be beneficial because people like that need those data points so they know when to push, when to back off, or when to completely rest. If you're someone who doesn't exercise that intensely, or maybe you just exercise from a moderate standpoint, I don't know if it's really going to serve you well because it's hard for people who engage in moderate activity to overtrain, to work too hard. It could be beneficial for you, but it would be less likely, or I would be less likely to recommend it for the moderate exerciser. Also, if you're a gadget person or do you just love data, the whoops for you. If you like learning all those little uh, details about your body, your details about your sleep and all those different things, I think it could be beneficial. One of the downsides is it's 30 bucks a month. Not that that's that much, but the device is actually free. They make their money from a subscription service and it's typically $30 a month, but if you pay it in full or you make a longer commitment, you can bring that price down. It also provides a community setting. So if you're one of those people who likes community, you like to listen to others and how they're exercising, how they're using the Whoop and those tricks, it could be beneficial. If you're not so much in a community, then that's not a feature that you might like and you might not get too much out of that. Another pro and probably the biggest pro is it teaches you to learn about your body. It'll teach you when you're recovered, when you're not, how you're sleeping, all those things. So if you really want to gain insight into you as an individual, I think it can be helpful. One last con that I wasn't crazy about is I don't think they've really mastered the technology for measuring heart rate. If that's an Apple Watch or if it's the Whoop, I don't think that the measurement of your heart rate is nearly as accurate as those found in a polar heart rate monitor that actually go to your chest. I found that those are more accurate, especially when you're doing activity where your heart rate's going up and then coming down and doing that a lot throughout the workout session. So I think the measuring of your heart rate still has some room for improvement. So there you have it. There's some pros, some cons, who might benefit from the Whoop, also, one thing you might want to consider is they do give you a 30 day money back guarantee. Personally, I took advantage of that. I thought there were some pros, but I was like, you know what? I'm not training competitively anymore. I know my body really well. And so for me at this stage in my life, I decided to return the whoop because I didn't feel it was the best bang for my personal buck. So I went ahead and returned it. So that might give you some comfort. You can try it out for 30 days. And if you're like, eh, not so sold on this, then go ahead and send it back and you have nothing to lose. This is Glenn and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up below and subscribe to our channel. Also, head over to freedomforlifefitness.com and learn more about how we can help you reach your health and fitness goals.